everyone, I'm Rachel. I'm the collections manager at the Dr. Pepper Museum and Free Enterprise Institute, and I wanted to share with you a little soda history today. So, if y'all can see, my shirt says pop. And that is no coincidence. I'm actually going to be talking to you about a pop, not a soda, because it's from Michigan where we call soda pop. All right. So I want to talk to y'all about Werner's ginger soda. You all might think it's kind of weird that I'm talking about something other than Dr. Pepper, but we collect all different kinds of soda at the Dr. Pepper Museum because we talk about the soda industry history as a whole. And we specifically focus on those brands in the Keurig Dr. Pepper brand family. And so today I wanna to share with you one of my favorite brands in the Keurig Dr. Pepper brand family. And it's Ferner's Ginger Soda. So here's a bottle for my collection um, that's Ferner's related, okay? So I grew up in Michigan. So Verner's is a drink that's near and dear to my heart, right? If I was sick, I got a Verner's, um, or it could have been a treat. It just depended. Um, but Verner's was a big part of my life growing up. And so I want to share it all with you. Um, I love Verner's not just because of how it tastes and because it reminds me of my childhood, but also because it has a really interesting history and it's one of the oldest sodas in the United States. So Verner's was invented by James Verner in Detroit in 1866. It is very old. It's over 150 years old, which is crazy to think um, about a brand lasting that long, especially a soda. So it's really interesting. Um, and the story goes that James Verner, who was a pharmacist, was playing around and trying to perfect ginger ale, trying to find the best ginger ale. Back then in the United States, people were playing with all the different soda syrups and trying to come up with the next best thing. And so James Verner was just one of those people that was doing it. And he happened to be very successful doing it. So he was playing with these different casks and he was sealing ginger ale syrup in them and leaving them and so on and so forth and trying to figure out what the best recipe was. Well, that was in 1861. Y'all probably know what else was going on in America during 1861. It was the Civil War. So James Verner, like many other young men, left to go fight in the Civil War. When he returned in 1866, he opened up that cask of ginger ale and he determined that it was great. Um, it was great. Like, there was nothing better than this ginger ale that had been barrel aged for four years. So... That is what he went ahead and used. He determined that that was the best way to have ginger ale is having it barrel aged for four years. And he was very successful with that drink. He went ahead and used that in Detroit and it started becoming so popular that they started selling it throughout Michigan. Now, it was mainly in the Midwest that it was available until Verner's was picked up and put into the same brand family as Dr. Pepper. And that's when it started to expand throughout the United States. And so today, if you haven't heard of Verner's or you haven't tried Verner's, you can find it um, in other areas of the country. Sometimes it's in your special specialty soda section. Um, so you should go ahead and try that if you like ginger ale. I highly recommend it. Um, but one other thing I wanted to tell you all about because people either find him fun or creepy. I find him a little of both. This is the mascot that Verner's used for a very long time. This is Woody the Gnome. Um, and so you'll see him on a lot of old Verner's merchandise or retro Verner's merchandise if you come across it. And he's just he's a cute little gnome. Um, they had a little ad campaign for a while that was gnomes making the ginger rail. Um, they had a factory tour in Detroit of the Verner's facility where they had these um, animated gnomes that would guide you through. So it's just a little fun bit of Verner's history. 
So I just wanted to go ahead and share with y'all one of my favorite sodas and favorite stories in the soda industry. So I hope y'all have a good rest of your day.